what's going on ladies and gentlemen my name is dylan welcome back to the channel hopefully you all are feeling fine and fantastic today yes we are going to take a look at the tier 5 requested movie edward scissor hands now i'm looking forward to this very 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 much um from the front of the artwork there's a guy that's dressed in black and he has i don't know some pointy things I'm guessing scissors for hands. Uh, oh, for I don't know. I don't know. He's got long fingernails. Let's just say that. And that's the artwork. That's the only artwork I've got on the front. So, um, yeah, I don't know what this is all about. I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't have a clue. So, let's just jump straight into this, guys. Like I said, this is tier five requested. We always do this. We jump in blind, and I think that's the most genuine way because I feel like it's it's a similar way to you guys where you're flicking through your television and you want something to watch and then you just come across a movie you've never seen before but you catch the first five seconds of it and then you continue to watch it that's what i try to do to bring the authenticity so yeah and also the thing is I've seen a couple of people say to do research about a movie before I watch it, and I don't like doing that only because it makes me pass judgment and have a have a thought process that isn't mine before I go in watching the movie. So if there's been bad reviews about a movie or even good reviews about a movie, maybe it sways me, and that's not that's not what I'm about. That's not what I'm about, and that's not what I want to do at all. So. I want to have my own thoughts, my own opinion, and give my judgments. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. If you're everyone over on YouTube, if you want to check this out and forwards over on Patreon, everyone over on Patreon, how are you today? Hopefully, you all are feeling fantastic. Now, let's go. Let's do it. Come on. So, generally, when it's on Disney, am I correct saying this? Generally, when it's on Disney, it's not going to be like some sort of horror film let me know guys if that's the case with disney or are there some old school movies that are on disney that are horror let me know guys let me know jesus christ i can't see oh this is gonna be good if johnny's in it this is gonna be good if johnny depp's in this it's gonna be good yeah blue lights a lot better there we go blue lights a heck of a lot better for, for some reason i thought they said alan alan rickman all right, they're trying to symbolize something at the beginning here. What are they trying to show me? What are they trying to show me? Snuggle in, sweetie. It's cold out there. Why is it snowing, Grandma? Where does it come from? That's a younger lady oh, playing an older gross. lady. Or a Ooh, man playing a late sleep. old lady. I'm not sleepy. I guess it would have to start with scissors. And once, there was even a man who had scissors for hands. And his yes. name was Edward. No, scissor hands. A long time ago, an inventor lived in that mansion. Oh, I like this. I like how they're going he back in time. Create a heart, a brain, everything. Wow. Well, he died before he got to finish the man he invented. So the man was left by himself. Oh, I know. Poor fellow. He didn't have a name. His name was Edward. Hmm. I love this, uh, the, or uh, the orchestra. I really do. And this is Johnny. Oh. Avon calling. Weren't you just here? No, not since last week. Hey, that's, uh, Roberta Today from I Two and a Half Men. show you everything you need to accent and highlight your changing look. Come on, Peg, I never buy anything from you. You know that. I know. Bye. Bye, Helen. <laughs> you see this bolt here? You just unscrew this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Housewives get lonely too, although you may not realize it since they haven't made a commercial on this. Be careful not to force it because it fits in there by itself and then you Be careful not to force it. Don't force it in there. I mean, he's not wrong, but I mean just <laughs> Will you excuse me for a moment? Now don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Good morning, Joyce. Avon calling. Why, Peg? Well, I'm surprised you don't realize that means I'm busy. I like them both. Well, great. You don't actually think I have any money, do you? We've all been through that stage, haven't we, in life? We've all been through that salesman. Crazy how times have changed. I would never let my son do it now. 
I remember when I was eight years old and I used to go around the neighborhood knocking on door to door selling uh, cookies and chocolates for the school. But going door to door knocking is one of the most difficult things, honestly. It's pff, one of the most difficult things. It's it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's like it's like cold calling. Cold calling is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. You don't know who you're calling. You literally just have a list of numbers. And that's it. Because clients can, don't have to have their full proper name. They don't, they don't have to. They can just say their first name and that's it. And it could be a made up name. Some of those, some of those houses are really nice, aren't they? Like, I mean like extravagant wise, yeah? Different. Uh oh. She's gonna go give it a crack. Oh my gosh. I take my hat off. I honestly take my hat off to her. She's gonna go give that a crack. Look at that thing. You're eight years old. Would you go to this house right here? Would you go to that house at the age of eight? All by yourself? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Maybe when I'm older, yeah. Because it would be pretty cool trekking up there and the thought of something scary being on top of that hill. So that's the entrance. Jesus Christ. That's a long entrance. I wonder if this is before or after the creator made him. Made Edward. I dare say this was after, yeah? Look at it. Very lovely garden. Ah, uh, scissors hand, scissor hands. He probably does it himself. He probably carves all this himself. Don't judge a book by its cover, I guess. Landscaping is is such a magical job at times. Landscaping. I've always had a fo a, 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 a fascination, a fond fascination for beautiful gardens like that. Hello. Give it to her. You're like props to this lady. She is. Very, very brave. You hear things moving around in my ear. Jesus Christ. Hey, it could be her biggest sale yet. You never know. A sale of her soul. Did I just see something move? I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm honestly tripping. I'm tripping here, man. I'm tripping. I'm absolutely tripping. I need my bloody glasses, hey, man. Dude, that is a massive room. Wait. Has this got to this hole in the roof? Has this got something to do with the, the scientist dying? Reads with his hands. Oh, this must be Edward. Why are you hiding back there? Peg Boggs, I'm your local Avon representative and I... I'll just be going now. Don't go. Oh, he's lonely. He's lonely. What happened to you? He's gonna make me cry. Man. Finished. Oh! Those are your hands? Yeah. Those are your hands. His creator gave up. Uh, his creator passed away. Where are your parents? Oh, this is Johnny. Look, it is Johnny Depp. Your mother? Your father? He's got no one. He didn't wake up. Oh, man, my heart. Do you live up here all by yourself? Oh. What happened to your face? Let me give you a good astringent, and this will help to prevent infection. She's actually a nice lady. Bless her heart. What's your name? Edward. I think you should just come home with me. <laughs> I wonder if she's... She... Whoop! I wonder if she plays a, a, like a mother figure to him or they fall in love. You okay? It's a window. I'm happy for him. Look at him. Did you see that? We literally just watched Soul. We've just watched Soul. And we saw the same thing that was Spark. Life. Life. He's never experienced it before, and you saw the smile on his face. Listen, I was standing outside, and I was talking to Carol, and Peg drove by. Did she say anything to you about having a guest or something? She didn't say anything to me at all. She... Gossip. It's our house, and you can just go right in and make yourself right at home, okay? Joyce, 
I just saw this strange guy driving with Peg. Okay, I'll be right there. Don't do anything without me. Okay, bye. Yes, be right there! Why are they so obsessed with other people's are. lives? Look, see, look. What we would take for granted, 100% we all take this so, for granted. You want to see the pictures? All right. You know what bowling is? No, bowling? I think Kevin looks a little glum because they didn't catch anything. Kim, all dressed for the junior prom. So she's got a family as well. Husband, kids. She's a senior now, if you can believe it. She'll be back in a few days and you can meet her then. I think someone's in love. Isn't she beautiful? Yep, he's in love. That's a confirmed. He's in love. That's my family. She is such a lovely house. lady, honestly. You, just, you help yourself to anything you want to eat or drink. And those are grapes. She you reminds me of. I think they have some of she reminds me of my beautiful great grandmother. How it's exactly the way she was. To this very day. To this very day, I. I, I, I still have never met anyone like my great grandmother like that that has done something like that. I've never met them. I know there are people like that, but I've never met them personally. Yeah, you can go in Kim's room and put these on, and I'll be right with you. Johnny's playing this character so well too. Doesn't even need to say a word. Oh no, it's a waterbed. Eesh. No! I knew that was gonna happen. Oh no. Let's see how long that lasts, huh? <laughs> he needs help. He needs help. Yeah, scissors. No, scissors. Listen, I, I have to go now. I'll talk to you later, March. Bye bye. <laughs> Everyone's fascinated. Sorry, Edward, I didn't... May I help you with this? Thank you. There you go. There we go. Very fine. Fine. Ooh. Charlie! You know, I have a doctor friend who I think could help you. Now, I can help with the scars. Hmm. What a lovely little film this is, huh? <laughs> All the husbands coming home so they scatter. <laughs> All the husbands come home from work so they scatter. Look at them. <laughs> oh, that'd be impossible too. Especially with the peas. <laughs> it's not the right to stay here. So what are you been doing with yourself up there in that big old place? I bet the view must be spectacular, huh, Ed? Edward. See you all the way to the ocean, I bet, huh? Sometimes. You gotta be. Oh. One karate chop to a guy's neck. Kevin. There you go. You can Wait. cut butter. Wait. Can I bring the show and tell on Monday? Kevin, I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> I know things feel a little strange now, but soon you'll feel right at home. <laughs> it's the waterbed. Is that what is that? Back in the nineties and back in the eighties, everyone, everyone had freaking waterbeds. Oh my gosh, it was ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. They they're one of the most comfiest things, but yet scariest things because if there's a leak, you won't know until there's water everywhere and. It's horrifying because if there is a leak, then you wake up the next morning and literally you've th the whole world's closed on you because you're half suffocating. You're literally sinking inside of the big water balloon, essentially. Let me know if you guys had a water bed at home. As soon as they all leave, you watch all the all the wires will come running out. I like how all the houses are different. Now I'm looking, there's a couple of the same. But they're all like colored. The light concealing cream goes on first. Blending is the secret. Mm-hmm. This should do the trick here. Huh? What hmm. the heck? I have another idea. She 
um, uh, um, she gonna make paper paper Don't mache or? Stuff? Edward would do it. Look, Edward would do it. <laughs> He'll do it for you. Go, Edward. Turn it up, Kevin. I can't hear it. Wow. There you go. Absolute artist. Maybe he can do it for a profession. Believe me, he doesn't even need to do any yard work. You have the whole family in there, don't you? No, no, no. That's a terrible idea, son. Edward, you did us. Mm -hmm. It's not heaven. He's from it. Straight from the stinking flames of hell. We're not sheep. Don't come near me. That's right. Go on. Get out of here. Run. Edward, don't you listen to her. Don't worry about her, Edward. She's just an old loony, that's all. Yeah, she was a bit mean. Hi! Hey, you all are hiding in there like a bunch of old hermit. What time does the barbecue begin? The barbecue? Hospitality by introducing him to your friends, don't you? I'll bring coleslaw. He has been sent first to tempt you. You must push him from you. Expel him. Perversion of nature. Why, isn't that exciting? Okay. <laughs> she is definitely someone. She is definitely someone we have to watch out for in the future. She's definitely someone we have to be careful of. Bill! Bill! They can't have a picnic or a barbecue without deviled eggs. They're just... They oh, make... yeah, deviled eggs, baby. Oh, Oh, deviled eggs or curried eggs? Oh, guys, let me know. Deviled eggs, curried eggs, or pickled eggs? And the rest of the neighbors, they're really very nice. You just have to be yourself. Myself? That's right, just your own sweet self. Oh, cool, look at that. That's an awesome can opener. Taking memories back. I mean, okay. What's going on here? Oh, he's literally just making cookies. Okay, so this was the scientist. The creator. I want to know. I want to know how he died. I want to know how he died. Everyone's so uh, colorful, Grand like, with their clothes. Are you okay? Do you want something to eat? Okay. Are you hungry? Completely different. No kidding. Do you imagine those hands are hot or cold? <laughs> or undo. <laughs> 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 hey, Jesus hey, Christ. Oh, guys and I, I couldn't keep it straight no, like to you. you can't cut. <laughs> I have my own infirmity. Never did me a bit of harm. I Ain't have a, a feeling, though, he's being used like... He's... I, I have... You know what I mean? Like, he, it, this is just... It's... This is weird for me because he's being used and because he's kind nature... I feel like it's going to hurt him in the future. Someone's going to hurt him. Listen, don't you ever let anybody tell you you have a handicap. Uh, don't be ridiculous. You're not handicapped. You're... <laughs> you must try this. Oh, oh, here we go. Uh, thumb like yours. I sure could use your help at my place. Me too. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody. Grab your plates. Soup, sir. Yeah, it, it is just goodbye. It was a figure of speech, Ed. <laughs> oh, poor Ed. Let us pretend that we are in the drawing room and the hostess is serving tea. Should the man rise when he accepts his cup of tea? Uh, is it good form to accept a second cup? Now, it is so easy to commit embarrassing blunders and guards us from all humiliation and discomfort. Let us switch to... Uh, Poetry. When asked, will they tear, he replied, here and there. That's right. Go ahead, smile. It's funny. Hey, guys, we're home. 
Oh, she's back. My parents have the alarm set. I'm screwed. I have to sleep in the yard again. No, Pete, better complain. How's my supposed to be the center of attention, huh? Bye, you guys. Thanks for driving. Okay, see you later. Bye. I bet you any money, her and Ed fall in love. I bet you any money. Just the way he was looking at the photos. And he's asleep in her bed, too. Oh, she's gonna take her clothes off without looking who's in the room. See? <coughs> he's poking the bed. Oh no. <laughs> he's a murderer. <laughs> Poor Ed. He's like, I wanna go back home. <laughs> Poor her. She didn't even know well, it, too. It's all me and everything. Good. <laughs> she get you nervous? You don't know anything about the wonderful world of teenage girls. They develop these gland things. Their bodies swell up. Uh, glands? Yeah, glands. What the heck? Good, isn't it? It's burning his throat. <laughs> Why does he have to stay here? Oh my goodness, Kim. I do have sympathy. It just makes you appreciate, though, like, like, it makes you appreciate everything we do with our hands. Like, poor Edward, there's so many things that he can do, but so many things that he can't do, so many things that we can do, so many things we can't do. So he's not letting that uh, deter him. She scared him half to death. I scared him. <laughs> what the heck was Hi, that? Bill. Oh, a bloody fish. Oh my gosh, that was scary. There's there's fish oh my gosh, there was a big fish tank obviously in there. The shadows were on the wall. Hi, Bill. I was like, what the heck? Edward, this is our daughter Kim. He's Kim, this out. is Edward, who's gonna live with us? He's drunk. <laughs> He's passed out. She's definitely thirsty. Ah, wouldn't you like a nice cool glass of lemonade? Lemonade. Ah, I remember the last time? <laughs> the last time someone told him it was lemonade? Didn't turn out too well. Awesome. I think they look weird. They Very impressive. Yeah, you should see that. Oh, no. That's him. He's calling you, Kimba. Don't worry, Eddie. She's waiting for you. <laughs> Boom. There we go. There we go. The, the, the boyfriend at the moment, we have to watch out for him. We have to watch out for him. Another person we have to watch out for. I feel like he's going to be a jealous type that tries to do something to Ed. Done. I'll be darned. New paint, new cabinet, new floor. Just tell me your mom had her kitchen done too. Yeah, my dad bought himself a bunch of new toys. Goodness sake, I wonder what it's like to be that rich. He's so cheap, he won't even help me buy an old car. Bill's character. You'll appreciate it more. Dad. I understand you're not charging for your gardening, Edward. Now, Bill. You can't buy the necessities of life with cookies. Oh, that's true, sir. You can't. What's he going to do with money, though? I don't think it's sanitary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I'll be right back. Ha ha ha! Gonna cut the dog as well. There you go. Don't cut the dog's ear. <laughs> oh, this is so much to clean by a lot, How did he cut so close to the skin? Edward sure does appreciate everything that he has, though. He, pre he appreciates it. Hola. Looks like the Lion King. Yo. She's 
having a freaking orgasm. Have a look at that. What the heck is going on here? She's about to pop. That was the single most thrilling experience of my whole life. Okay. <laughs> what the heck? That's a very unique haircut. I've never seen a haircut like that. Okay. I'm home. Hi, honey. We're in here. What did you do to your hair? Edward cut it. Isn't it wild? This is such an honor. See, I'm see, 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 see. Yes. I'm telling right you here. right now. It's like. Oh, man, I'm telling you right now, these two, I'm telling you, did you just see that? Did you just see that? She wants, she feels something towards him. She feels that energy towards him, but she's so scared. Uh, well, that's exactly what I've been using. I'll try that. <laughs> uh-huh. I sure will. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. I've always wanted to talk to her, but until now, I never had a reason. She had some ideas? You bet she did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm very surprised how intelligent he is. The scientist did a really good job. Magnificent actor he is, man. I'm really feeling that love energy coming through. It's awesome. It is absolutely awesome. Edward! You got it? No, I can't believe this. Well, stranded. Wow. There you go. Ed, what a guy. Good job. Maybe a pal in yellow pig pulls in, huh? Any questions for Ed? Yeah. Get way over. What's been the best part of your new life here in town? The friends I've made. Aww. Have you ever thought of having corrective surgery or prosthetic? Everyone knows a doctor. I'd like to meet him. We'll get that name after the show. Thank you very much. Everyone knows a bloody doctor. But then no one would think you were special. No matter what, Edward will always be special. His scissors, his scissor hands make him him. I wonder, do you have any plans to open your own beauty salon? Oh, there's an idea. I think, I think he's, he appreciates what he has, but I think people's, um, people's persuasion maybe is going to force him to do something. Because there has to be there has to be a swing to this story. It can't be just going on this line for the whole movie. It can't. There's got to be a twist. Do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> sure he does, right, Kim? Right, Kim. There's some special lady in your life. Oh, he's gonna say it. Is he gonna say it? See, look, she's so scared. <laughs> Poor fella. Right Jesus Christ, what happened to him? He got hurt. Yeah. I wish we'd been taking that. I'd give my left nut to see that again. I'd give my Aren't left nut. Oh, this, I want to call it sheer heaven. <laughs> now, all along here, I'm going to put a row of new mirrors. And all along this row here. <laughs> And this, of course, is where we wash the hair. Now, this is the storeroom where we keep everything. Oh, honey, no. Now, don't. That's dangerous. Oh, no. Now, you just sit right down there. Would you like me to model them for you? Yes. Fair enough. <laughs> you can model them for me if you want. It's up to you. To catch those itchy little trinkles. Drape around you like this. I like that one. <laughs> 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 you're trembling. I wonder why. Jesus. I bet you have. Is that the time? Whoa! Poor Eddie. Edward, you come back here. You can't do that. Well, he did. You'll just have to satisfy yourself. Velcro, sweetheart. It's Velcro and it hangs on the dashboard. Hi, Andrew. Sorry, dear. We had to go get here without you. Here you go. You have a productive day. Mrs. Monroe showed me where the salon's going to be. <laughs> Great. 
And then she showed me the back room where she took all of her clothes off. <laughs> Edward, I can't tell you how to go away. I'm just a nothing like running your own business. I've never done it myself. Did he even hear what he said? What I so I guess the bank's going to be your next step, huh? The bank? Take out a loan. Get yourself started. No credit. No record of jobs. You no personal investments. They're going to deny it. Security number you may as well. You see here, the mayor's wife can't wait to become a client. Get yourself a social security see, card, you. establish credit, and buy yourself a car. No problem. And park anywhere you like. Don't you worry. This isn't the end of it. We'll get your money somehow. But that's breaking and entering. Look, my parents have insurance up the rear. Look, there's a guy who'll give us cash for this stuff. Jim, I don't want to. Because my father keeps the damn room locked. We need Edward to get us in. Come on, Kim. Razor Blades will do anything for you. What's fair got to do with it? There isn't any other way. There's got to be. You want us to have our own van? Well, yeah. Sweaty Jim. I hate this. I can't believe this is happening. This person stole from you? Shh. Keep your voice down. I told you you stole her, right? I told you Jim wasn't to be trusted. I told you guys. Oh, that's a cool room, eh? He's setting him up. Oh, you son of a gun. No, Jim, can't leave him here. Told ya. Told you Jim wasn't to be trusted. I freaking I knew it. I knew it. Sorry for swearing, but I knew it. Bloody knew it. Absolutely knew it. Freaking gym, man. They're not weapons. Oh no. No, 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 no. They're not weapons. No. No, 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 no. Thank God for the neighbors. Thank God for the neighbors. Jesus. We can see him now. We're going to have to hold him overnight for observation. He has to stay in prison all night. Oh, Edward, dear, I blame myself. Why didn't I set a better example? I mean, you saw how I envied Jim's parents. Your stealing is not the he way didn't. to get in. Stealing is not the Speak way to get in. Speak up for yourself. Except trouble. Speak up for yourself. Come on. Oh, did somebody put you up to this? Tell him. Tell him. Indicate that he's a highly imaginative uh, character. Doesn't even recall. Be all right out there. Well, yeah, he'll be fine. Listen, it could keep me up all night worrying about you. You watch yourself, yeah? Hmm. I just have to... To my gut, there was something wrong with him. Could have been any of our houses, but... I warned you, didn't I? You didn't heed my warning, but now you will. She's got a significant part to play, I'm telling you right now. gonna have it this year we have it every year why wouldn't we have it this year you may think that but you're wrong yeah sure. what do you have to say for yourself missy they didn't hurt you did they were you scared tell her how you feel mate i tried to tell make him you how back. you feel but you can't make jim do anything you both are going to regret it tell each other how you feel please you're welcome there you go there's the start you're talking to her I know it was Jim's house. You did? Yes. Well, then why'd you do it? Because you asked me to. Jesus. If I was her, I'd stay away from Jim. When are you gonna stop? I did what I could. I could tell the truth. So could you, you were there too. Uh oh, is he turning evil? Voila. We're gonna try and help you find a way to replace the drapes and the towels. Okay, a little ethics. You give it to the poor, you turn it into the police. I'd keep the money. Simmer down. Edward? 
Yeah, how about after dinner we go down to the bowling alley? You're not seeing Jim tonight? No. Thank you, dear. Edward, we're waiting. Give it to my loved ones. Hmm. Dope. Everybody knows you're supposed to give it to the police. Good thinking, Kevin. Think about I'll it, tell you, you one thing. If you find some money here in Spain, don't give it to the police. Let me just tell you that right now. Just uh, here in Spain, just uh, slide it in your pocket and just keep on walking. Because uh, you give it to the police, you hand it in, they'll be like, oh yeah, sure, we could try and find the rifle owner. The money's gone. And that that's 100% uh, guarantee. I'll be honest with you guys. That's 100% guarantee. I mean, that's the nicer thing to do. That's what I would do. I am being serious, Dad. It's a much nicer thing to do. No wonder poor Edward can't learn right from wrong. Are you going? Well, I don't think so. Threatening her with those knives of his? It's a miracle she escaped. Peg, this is nuts. I know, I know. They've got that teenage daughter in the house. Oh. What did you say to Peg about the Christmas party? I said I hoped we could make it. Unbelievable, isn't it? I think that's a spitting image of... Um, of a lot of ladies that do those sorts of things. And I was talking to this about my wife because she knows a lot of them, yeah? Edward, you want to give me that new haircut? It makes me proud to have you as my own personal hairdresser. Hi, honey. Hi. Kevin, you She's going to have no bloody hair still? left. Tired of always winning. Other people I'll be outside. outside. A few manners. Cut away. She's going to have no hair left. Bye. On Christmas Day in the morning. Mom, do you really think we should be having this party? I mean, it's just what we need, just to calm things down. She feels down guilty. And everything will just go back to normal. She feels real guilty. Oh, love. Hmm. Really? Now you've done it. Okay, no, you touch your gun and I'll kill you. No, it's no big deal. It's just Call a doctor. You can't touch anything without destroying it. Who the hell do you think you are? You've been hanging around here anyway, huh? Wait for me to bring you. I'm not sure you prick this gym guy. Now out! Go! Free! Where is he? He tried to hurt you. No, he did not, and you know it. I don't love you anymore. I just want you huh. to go, okay? Take just that. go. Take that, you buddy. Serious? Okay, just go. Told you, he's the one we have to watch out for. I, I called it at the beginning. Dad, did you see where Edward went? Walks down the street. We have to go find him, Mom. I'll go find him. Oh. This is Satan. Now people are going to believe her. Ah! Oh my god! Oh. Hello, Mrs. Box. I'm here to see the man with the hands. Uh, He's not here. Thank you. Helen, did you actually see him? Yes! I'm looking for the man with the scissors. Oh, thank God, you're right. All right, calm down, calm down. Go on home, we'll handle it. You gotta do something. So that lady doesn't really play a significant role at all, no? She's just someone that was being a wanker to her, to him. And I think people, right, and you realize this when you get older, I think people want to pick on other people and be worrying about other people's lives because they're bored. And you realize that when you get older, that's the only reason why, because it's like, you sit back and you have a look at it, even as you, like, you as a person and you're doing it, if you sit back and you realize, what am I doing? Why am I so worried about other people than myself? You know what I mean? Like, it's so it's so crazy sometimes the world we live in. It's so crazy. I really didn't think things through, and I didn't think about what could happen to him or to us. But it wasn't him. It was Jim's fault. I think that maybe it might be best if he goes back up there. It's both of their fault because too. At least there is safe. Go back to normal. If you express that you loved each other, things will be well, different. I mean, I didn't see you guys. No, you're staying here in case somebody shows up. We'll, we'll be right back. Hmm. 
Hmm. Now this is his moment to sit back and assess it all. Uh oh. Police. Go do it, please. Okay? Tell each yes. other. Are Tell each okay? other how you feel. Where is everybody? I just realized who she is. Stranger Things. What's her name? Uh, Winona Ryder. That's her. She's from Stranger Things. Good. She's beautiful here and she's beautiful when she's older. Good. Good. What? Why can't he? I know it's a little early for Christmas, Edward, but I have a present. For oh, he actually had hands for him. Oh, it was, it was time for him to install. Oh, wow, wonderful. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, and he had a heart attack. Oh, Stras. Oh, no. He had a heart attack when he went to install his hands. Oh. That sucks, man. My heart. Shattered. Absolutely shattered. Forget holding her hand. Oh. Picture the damage you could do other places. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. First, take me to her house. Oh, come on, Jim. Don't make me drive. Just do it. She was right about you. Just drive. Relax. See you tomorrow. Call me. All right. Have they caught him yet? Who? A cripple. Let me know when they do. Like a good boy. The heck? Oh no! Kevin. Oh no! Jim Prick was a jealous bugger. Shoot him, Kim. Shoot him, Kim. Kim Kim's gonna hit him. Voila! Smack bang, knockout. Four points. Oh! Whew. Got him! Bingo! B-I-N-G-O and Bingo was his name. Well. Of course, they're gonna find the body. Goodbye. No. Tell each other how you feel. Don't end it like this. Oh, there you go. Why goodbye?
Hmm. Smart. I'm going home. Why did they just leave him alone in the first place? Look, you just wanted to bang him. That's all you wanted to do, you freak. I don't know if it's me being biased towards Stranger Things, but she is so beautiful. She never saw him again. Wow. Not after that night. I wonder if that's her. How do you know? Because I was there. You still could go. I'm an old woman now. Hmm. Would rather him remember me the way I was. See, look. Now he's gonna appreciate everything. Look at it. How do you know he's still alive? Brilliant film, man. What a brilliant I film. I believe he is. Johnny's Johnny Depp's acting performance Before is sensational. If you weren't up there now, I don't think it would be snowing. Sometimes you can still catch me dancing in it. <laughs> what a film. Beautiful love story. Oh uh, look, uh, he made it snow, eh? All right, let's switch to the to the other screen. So, just this just goes to show you guys that uh, it took to the very end, to the very end, for them to express their love for one another. But everything would have been solved. A lot of things would have been different if they had just express themselves at an earlier date earlier time a lot of the things that were was was happening is because he was too scared he was too scared because he's he he didn't he didn't grow up in a way that was that that you and i are used to you and i are used to with the interaction with other people and this goes for everyone that is so scared to talk to that boy, so scared to talk to that girl. If you don't, then you never know what's going to happen. And literally, if... I, I always say, even to my to my son, if you do it and you fail, what happens? Literally, you, you are in the exact same spot you were before you tried it. So you've lost nothing. You've, you've, you, you know what I mean? You may not have gained anything, but you didn't lose anything. You've gained, well, you can say you've gained some courage because of it. But you also you've learned how to overcome that fail. So you could say, eh, you could say you, technically you did gain something, but you didn't gain anything what you were trying to achieve, Yes. And you just don't know. So many people are so scared to express their love to that person. And I know how you guys feel because I was in the same boat. But it took the balls and the courage for me to tell my wife that I loved her. And at first, at first, she was a bit hesitant herself. But as soon as I said that, that was that was when the emotions f flowed within that conversation, and she was able to express that love back to me. And if, if I didn't ever do that, I don't think we'd ever be together. And as I said, it takes courage. Love isn't something. That is perfect. Love is something that takes time, takes trust. But like I said, if you don't express to one another, then you don't know what's... <laughs> you never know what, what will happen. And it wasn't until the end where Edward actually felt that love from her. And essentially it was too late. It was way too late. And now I... I feel like... He let... He, he, because of that, he lets Jim... 
dictate his love for Kim. And Kim as well, because she was too scared to admit her love for him, Jim was able to manipulate her. I'm going to admit, I thought that other lady that was... I, I don't know what she was into. She had some Christianity signs and things like that. I don't know what she was into. But I thought she was going to play more of a role. And I felt like her character wasn't really funny. I think they were trying to be funny with that character, but it wasn't. I think that was the only fault from this movie. And that's why I'm giving this movie a seven and a half. Yeah, I'm giving this movie a seven and a half because it was a showcase of 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 love, but not in that typical way that we see in movies at all. It was a love in a way where a lot of people can feel his pain. A lot of people can feel her pain. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Johnny Depp, absolutely, absolutely sensational. Well, no, all right. It's just she is stunning, absolutely stunning herself. And I don't know if I'm being biased because Stranger Things, I absolutely love Stranger Things. Oh my god, I can't wait to watch that with you guys. Well, watch the newer season coming out. Yeah, the third season. I can't wait to watch it with you guys. I've watched all of them. Okay, every single episode. But I don't know if because I'm biased towards that. That's why I absolutely find her so beautiful. But anyway, that I think that's just me being biased. Let me know in the comments. Maybe you guys have a different opinion. Anyway. And i got to be careful because I don't know how old she was there. <laughs> I don't. So, um, yeah. I mean, like I said, it's it's also a showcase of us to to sit back and assess life and it wasn't just edward that had to do that yeah it wasn't just edward but it was everyone in that whole freaking suburb all of them were so worried and they didn't they didn't even learn their lesson they didn't even learn their lesson but they're so worried and focused on edward's life and other people's lives that you mean because <laughs> they're not they you know what I mean like they're not focused on who they are as people like that Sheila she was so focused on sleeping with Edward she was so focused on that that she didn't even you know what I mean like sit back and assess what she's doing and how how much of a bad person you have to be to do the things you're doing people don't realize that we call them carrots no I'm joking we call them people, we call those people evil for a reason. And not in the sense that they kill people, but they hurt people without even knowing that they're hurting people. And you saw at the end there, there was, like, there was a death. Jim died and it was like, oh, okay. And they just walked away. It's like, it's it's unbelievable how they were so entranced about Edward that they, you know what I mean? Like, in the end, they wanted him dead. They wanted Edward dead. It's like... But Kim, Kim came to the rescue. Kim did come to the rescue. It just makes you think, what... What would it have been if if Kim and Ed expressed themselves to one another? If it would end up in a different result? Thank you for this movie. Thank you for this movie because it shows... Ed, Ed would remind me of people that suffer through autism a lot. Ed would remind me of that. And Johnny Depp played such a fantastic role. But Ed would remind me of people that suffer through autism. And it's it sucks. It really does suck. Autism is, is something that... Is, is not necessarily... 
hurtful to the person that has it but it it's it's hurtful to see as a friend a family member a loved one because you know that that person was born with it and they can't control it and sometimes you see them you see them sad because of it and you want to help and you want to help you try your best you try your best but like i said it some people embrace it having autism but it just the it, edward just reminded me it just reminded me of of that reminded me of autism so much I don't want to talk about it too much because it's a it's a bit personal. It's a bit personal for me. A bit personal for me talking about autism. A bit bit personal. And usually I'm very open with you guys, but this I can't. I can't. This is one thing I can't. I can't do. And I and I probably would never do it. Never never talk about it. Why I'm talking about it? Because I can't do it to that person. I can't do it to them. I just can't. It's not my right. It's not my right to do it ever. But let's just say that I can. I, I know about it. I know about it. Uh, uh, like I said, 7.5 for me. Sensational. If you're over on Patreon, maybe you saw me snooze. There was a break there where for like. 20 seconds there was music playing and i dozed off for like half a second and that's it <laughs> but yeah that's what you get over on patreon that's what you get over on patreon <laughs> uh I, like i said i liked it because it's a different type of romance that we're used to you know what i mean is it is a very much a different type of romance and johnny depp like i said I keep saying his name, but his acting was sensational. You believed his character. Absolutely sensational. Let us know, guys, if you enjoyed it as well. I want to know in the comment section. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. If you want to go check it out, it's over on Patreon in full. Everyone over on Patreon, like I said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll speak to you in a few hours' time. Peace out, guys. Take it easy. Peace.